All right, we're back on the road again. And, well, I think I have grinded enough. Everybody's level 15 except for Bulbasaur is level 17. I made sure they didn't evolve, then again, only you were about to evolve. And, well, I didn't want you to evolve off screen. Because, well, that would be a dick thing of me to do. Ah, oh, God, they're back. And, well, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Pokemon Blue version. This is your host, MJ406. And, well... Oh, yeah. Butterfree learned Confusion and Poison Powder. Maybe I should show them all the moves they learned. Because, uh... Oh, yeah. I grinded for, like, probably a good hour or something yesterday. Yeah! There we go. Level 16. Now I'm trying to learn Stun Spore. But Butterfree can't learn more with the four moves. Oh, no! Clean or move to make room for Stun Spore. So, yeah. If you have more than four moves and you learn a new one... Oh, you have four moves to learn a new one. You gotta get rid of one of them. And I'm gonna get rid of String Shot. One, two, and poof! Butterfree forgot String Shot. And... What have we learned? Stun Spore! Like Poison Power can poison an opponent, Stun Spore can paralyze an opponent. So, you know, Butterfree has your... has its uses. So, yep, those are the moves it knows now. Pikachu, I can tell you straight up, learn nothing new. Of course. Pidgey, also learn nothing new. <laughs> God damn it. Geodude finally got Defense Curl. Thanks. I really needed that. Neonite female learned Poison Sting, though, which is good. As usual, it gets Grass types, so I'm happy for that. And Bug types. Bulbasaur also, well, you know, learned nothing. But then again, I'm about to evolve Bulbasaur, so. Ah! No need to really worry about it yet. When I keep using Butter Freak, these damn Zubats that keep showing up. Which reminds me. Why don't I start running? <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, let's explore more Mount Moon, shall we? Now I grinded a bit. I don't really need to fear what's in here. Damn you. And by the way, I didn't encounter a new Pokemon. You've already seen them. Paris. You've already seen all the ones that I've seen in here. Which would be Zubat, Geodude, Paris, and, uh, Clefairy. Apparently Jigglypuff isn't in here. Jigglypuff's outside. Back towards, uh, the route between here and Pewter City. So, yeah, I'm the one who missed out on that one. Level 8, get out of my face. Oh, no! Ugh. And to think the encounter rate these guys originally envisioned was higher than this. And you would, they would actually think about making you refight trainers every time. Ugh, that sounds horrifying. It really does. Hmm, what's this item? Ooh, HP up. Cool. Also, I think I figured out what my, uh, what my main team's gonna be like when I go through this game, uh, you know. Once I've gotten far into the game, once I can ac have access to, like, all the Pokemon, I know who my ideal team's gonna be, so. I am prepared. Man, thank goodness Butterfree knows Confusion now. Because Psychic type in this game is magic. It really is. Oh, I'm so happy. But, well... Who knows how long I'm going to be able to get it to last. Hello, Team Rocket! Let me take you on, sir. We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters! Oh, really? You think you're gangsters, huh? You know, I feel like you're more of a, uh, sadist with that whip you've got. Oh, boy! You've got a ground Pokemon. Hey, guess what? Ground types can't hurt flying types. With ground moves, I mean. Then again... Sandshrew can't naturally learn a ground move! That's something I hate about this game, which I look now realize looking back on it. A lot of the Pokemon can't learn moves of their own types, which would sound ridiculous, and you're right, it is. <laughs> so yeah, that's really all I gotta say on that note. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, Geo dude, he can't do anything to you in that state. His Ratata state. His natural suckiness state. That's really all it is for him. God dang, you guys are strong. I was trying to think of some. Oh, yeah! I, re I remember a couple episodes ago. Oh, yeah, everybody was pretty much to the verge of leveling up again, by the way. Oh, rock throw! Yes! A rock move! Oh, that's beautiful. You know what? Perfect time for that! 
that your flying type Brock will hurt you. To think, if Geodude was at this level when we fought Brock, he would have had a rock move to use against us. And throwing rocks on enemies? Oh. That'll make Geodude useful for a while. Take that, rocket. I blew it. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Now, if you'll excuse me, time to actually make our way out of here. Damn it! Oh, yeah, I remembered what I was going to talk about. Um. What was it? Wow, I forgot already! Um... Oh yeah, now I remember. I remember looking a few episodes back, and uh... I remember how I was trying to go over the uh, special stats a Pokemon have. The uh, IVs. How they all differ between each Pokemon, while the higher those numbers are, the generally stronger that particular Pokemon of that species is. Oh, get out of my way, Zubat! For the love of God, move! Oh, yeah, then goes high as level 12 in here, apparently. Anyway, I did mention there were two sets of stats. I forgot to go over the other one. So, yeah, IV, individual value, can indicate how strong a particular Pokemon of that species can be. The other one is EV, which is known as effort value. I want to say it's more complicated to explain, but it might actually be easier to explain. Because basically... Oh, level 11 up here. I haven't seen that yet. Usually it's only up to level 10 out here. In this floor. Whatever, I'll take it. Anyway. God damn it! The EV effort value. I can basically put it this way. You know one of those uh, trainers out there? On route uh, 3 or 4, whatever it was? How they said that... That Pokemon that are trained by trainers... Oh my god! Are stronger than Pokemon that are trained by than those that are in the wild? Well, that's basically what that's referring to. The effort value, EV. Basically, the more battles your Pokemon's in, the stronger its stats become. And that's what EV is all about. The effort value. Ooh, a Moonstone! Oh, good. Oh, come on, I didn't even move yet! Really? You're protecting this Moonstone? Screw you, get the hell out of my way. Asshole. God damn. Anyway, let me battle this guy now. Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. Wow. <laughs> oh, a kid's around here. Let me beat the shit out of him. Ah, hiker. There's a typical one. They tend to have rock and ground types. Butterfree could probably handle these since you don't know rock throw yet. If you did, I'd be pissed off. But yeah, effort value. So yeah, here's a good example. Geodude. I won't give anything specific, but... Basically, for Butterfree being this Geodude, she gets effort value for one of her stats from one to three points. You know, HP, attack, defense, special, speed. One of those ones. Oh, wow, I'm training Butterfree a lot. I should probably get somebody else some help. Sleep powder, huh? Sorry, I like... Actually... You... It's actually better than poison powder, now I think about it, so... I'll take sleep powder, thank you! Alright, well, time to get Bulbasaur to evolve, finally. So I probably should give Bulbasaur more love. But yeah, beating a Geodude, you get turn what are called effort value points for a particular stat, based on the Pokemon. All Pokemon have their own effort values to give for being defeated. You can look it up yourself if you want to find out specifically what gives what, because it would be boring if I decided to go over that. Oh no, an Onix! Hey, guess what? I can kick your ass now. Also, I can't catch you in this cave. You're somewhere else. Get out of my way. There we go. Take that, you damn hiker. Wow! Shocked again! What bulbs are evolving? I'm not gonna stop it this time. Sorry, I'll finish my EV discussion after we watch Bulbasaur here evolve into... Ivysaur! Ah, so now you're generally stronger. The stars off three evolutions as well, by the way. Thanks for letting me beat you up, dude. Kids like you should be here. That's why I tried to knock you unconscious by beating you up. Thank you for that. Alright, now let's actually make our way out of here if I can. Alright, yeah, so ever value points, you get those for, um... Training Pokemon. One to three EV points for each Pokemon you defeat. You can have up to... Basically, if you get four EV points for any stat, that stat overall, by the end of your leveling up, by the end of your, um, uh, 
if they reach level 100, that stat will have increased by 1 from 4 EV points. So yeah, basically, you can use that as a way to control what stats go up for your Pokémon. Which is what people in the competitive Pokémon scene love to do. Okay, who should I have? You know what, I'll have Pikachu go up. Because I like Pikachu. Oh yeah, now I can see other areas around here that I've been to. God damn, Geo dudes, get out of my way! Well, I would take the time to battle you, but... Eh, you know what, I'll battle you anyway. So let's get Ivysaur some love, why not? Basically, in the EV point discussion, yep, get points from enemies, getting four of each stat gets you one stat point by the time you reach level 100, which is the max level. Which, I don't... They do progressively apply it to you as you level up, so... Oh, good! Pikachu learned Quick Attack! Yes! Oh, that's awesome. God damn it! Let me go! I'm sick and tired of you, Geodude! Oh my god! Oh! Seriously, they're, they're showing up so much faster than last time I went through here! God! Now there's a lot more Team Rocket members. Hi! Little kids should leave grown-ups alone. Nope! That's our job as kids, to not leave grown-ups alone. So what's your one Pokémon? Oh no, Raticate! Wait, did that evolve really? It might have. So yeah, Raticate! Oh boy! It's the evolved form of Rattata! So yeah. How is it faster than Pikachu? How? It's a freaking Raticate! Well, now I paralyzed it, so now I'm faster again. Now get the hell out of my way, you worthless piece of crap. Ow! Hyper Fang! Ah! Jesus! Yeah! This Pokemon is not a slouch, by the way. Raticate's actually pretty powerful. Or can be. Well, early game powerful, at least. Jeez, critical hit again? Get the hell out of the way, man! That's a bullcrap. Oh my god, how are you not dead yet? Yeah. Like, he's a level 16 Raticate. That's cheating. It doesn't evolve into Raticate to level 20. That's a bullcrap. What a cheater. Get that Raticate out of my way. And, of course, fighting evolved Pokemon gets you a lot more experience. There you go, Geodude. I'm steamed! Good. Enjoy the sales. Of which there aren't as many anymore. Oh my god, Paris, get out of the way! Oh wait, who's second in the lineup? God damn it, I don't want to keep having Butterfree fight things! And now Pikachu's fainted, I can't really work on its stats. Alright, Pidgey, now it's your turn. Pidgey's actually been pretty strong despite things. Oh, oh Geodude's getting in my way! Okay, yeah. To absolutely finish the EV discussion, I've already told you, one to three points for each Pokemon you defeat, four for each stat to level it up by- to push it up by one as you level up. The thing is, there's a limit to it. And that's part of, part of like, the potential thing of Pokemon. Oh, cool, Clefairy to kill. Each Pokemon can only have, um... Each stat can only go up by 255 EV points, of which, of course, only 252 will be useful. And the total EV points each Pokemon's allowed to have is 510, which is double that. Clearly. So basically, max out two stats for EV and be done with that. And, uh, yeah. That's what people in the competitive scene like to do to help increase their Pokemon's potential further. For example, Pikachu. All right, Pitchy, there you go. I've only learned a new move. Uh, before I fit absolutely... <laughs> Team Rock will find the fossils, revive, and sell them for cash. You jerk. And another Team Rock... What's with these Rocket members in here? God dang. Oh, it's a Rattata. Oh, no. <laughs> You're worthless compared to me. Damn, I'm having an early Raticate. That really screwed me over. But yeah. For example, you know how Pikachu is pretty fast and has a high special stat? 
Basically, if you knew what Pokemon to fight to help raise those special and speed stats, you could only have Pikachu fight those to raise those up to make Pikachu even more powerful and useful in his state. So, yeah. It's worth taking into consideration just how strong it can be with those EVs in consideration. So, do your research if you really want to maximize the potential of your Pokemon. Believe me, plenty of people have it online for you. <laughs> wow, critical hit for 1 HP. You're going places, Zubat. You're going dead. That's where you're going, asshole. Jesus. Urgh, now I'm mad. Murr. Yeah, I'm sure you are mad. All right, Nidoran, let's get you some love. If we run into Paris, I can have you stab at the death of your poisonness. Oh, what the heck's going on up here, I wonder? I should probably find out. Then again, I fe feel like I kind of want to go back down to look to see if I missed anything. I don't remember my way out of this cave. Oh, never mind, it's a dead end. Okay, keep going then. Hmm. I see two rocks in the way. I'm wondering. Ah, I just made me remember something. So, I'm guessing people probably remember. Who remembered the, um, uh, God! Stop! <laughs> Who remembers the, uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon run from years ago? Ah, uh, that was, that was fun to watch. It was a good experience. Ooh, a hidden moonstone, all right. Remember, keep pressing A on stuff like walls and stuff to find hidden objects. So, oh, come on! Just let me go along, all right? Fine, I'll stab you to death with poison. You asked for this, remember. It's four times as effective because you're bug and grass. All right, why are bug and poison both weak to each other in this game? That's a little weird. Then again, they polished it off by Gen 2, for the most part. There you go, Nidoran! <gasps> Nidoran, females evolving! I didn't have to cancel your evolution, so this is actually very welcoming! So Nidoran female evolves into Nidorina. Nidoran male also evolved into Nidorino. But... Hey, stop! I fought a Pokémon! I had to stop! I found these fossils! They're both mine! Huh. So the wild Pokémon Coward blocked you. Oh, of course, you super nerd would be like, ah! Well, that's a Grimer. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. But yep, it's a giant puddle of goop. So, yeah. I got, this area started to remind me of, um, uh, the uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon run from years ago. And, well, this cave is kind of a big reason why. I'm sure pe people that saw it know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, that was fun. Oh god, Voltorb. Um, hey Geodude, get out here and block his advance attempts. You're a ground type. As long as he doesn't have Thundershock or something, we'll be fine. Ow! You get Rock Throw. No! Yeah, its accuracy isn't 100%. It's also 95, like Tackle, I believe. Yeah, I believe so. Oh, you're not dead! If you stop screeching- If you keep screeching at me, I am going to kill you! Oh, you! Oh, Coughing! So that's a poison type. Well, Butterfree, is where you're most useful. Ah! By the way, that sprite's incorrect. <laughs> but you know, this is the first game, so of course it has its issues. But yeah, that Skull Crossbow is supposed to be under the face, not above it. They fixed that in later Pokemon games and the anime as well. But yep, that's coughing for you. It's a weird gas ball. Okay, I'll share! Yeah, you better share, you asshole. Hmm. You want the dome fossil? Oh no! They do say praise the Helix fossil. No! No! I'll believe you! Dome fossil! Take that! Ha <laughs> ha! I don't believe in the Helix. Well, I believe. Alright, then this is mine! No! I wanted both of them! Why am I so nice? Far away on Cinnabar Island, there's a Pokemon lab. They do research on generating fossils. Ooh, so that's something to keep note of for later. 
keep note of the fact that there's a lab that regenerates Pokemon fossils. So, that'll be late game, of course. Well, looks like you really want to die today. Don't mind if I do! Kill you, I mean. Ah, there we go. That was simple. Alright, just about done here. We are... We're out! We're out! Route 4, Mount Moon, Cerulean City. Okay, so earlier was Route 3. This is Route 4. Finally! Oh! It's good to be out of Mount Moon. Ugh. So yeah, you just basically gotta take the furthest path to find your way out. It's nice to be able to walk around without having to deal with getting fought by Pokemon that pop up out of nowhere. Yep, Mount Moon's the first introduction of caves that just are basically telling you to go screw yourself. You're gonna have to fight a lot of things to get out. Or run from everything to get out. But hey, now that's done. So yay me. Oh, you can run off ledges aside as well. The only ways you can't run off a ledge are up, because that would be really awkward to look at in a game like this. Well, at least you would think so. That's why they didn't do it. <laughs> Ooh, an item! TM4! Hmm, what's this TM, I wonder? It's always worth finding out what each TM is. So what's this one? Whirlwind? Oh, you're useless. I believe that just blows a Pokemon out of battle, so, uh... Yeah. It blows Pokemon out of battle. That's really all I was supposed to say on the matter. Alright, Ivysaur. I kind of want to give you a little more battle experience right now, so... Let's see if there's anything useful in the grass here! It'll be fun to find out. You're not fun! Get away from me, although you are level 12. Oh no, you're quick attack! Damn you! That damn priority move. Damn! Oh, Ivysaur, your Vine Whip. It is legendary. What else is in this grass? I know there are some interesting Pokemon I can start to fight, but if this is all that's showing up, I'm gonna leave the grass, because you are really annoying me. Ratata, you butthole. Oh. So, let's see what else is in here. I'll give it one more try. Alright, I don't feel like fighting in here anymore. You guys spoiled that for me. Oh, you got a fight, you got a flying type move, so I should be careful. I'll do what I can to finish you. Ow! You jerk! You get the vine whip now! How'd that feel, huh? Yeah, I felt. Ow! You're dead. Yeah, I'm here to get to a Pokemon Center. Pikachu still fainted anyway. I should definitely get some help. Let's do that, then. Oh, wait, was there a trainer up there? Let me go get the trainer first, if I can get out of here. Can I get out of here? Oh, no, I won't find out! No! No, rat attack! Get out of the- Level 8! Oh, my God, why would I want to fight you? Oh, I can't get out. Okay. In that case, let's go to Cerulean City, which is literally right this way. Yeah, I have to get up there through other means. I forgot about that. But that'll be for later. So here we are. Cerulean City. Finally. <coughs> You're making an encyclopedia on Pokemon? That sounds amusing. Amusing's one word for it. I want a bright red bicycle. I'll keep it at home so it won't get dirty. Oh, that's nice. Grass and caves handled easily. Bike shop. Oh, really? <clears throat> that sounds good. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a little cloggy right now. I need to clear a little bit. I want to talk to you, lady. A plain city bike is good enough for me. You can't put a shopping basket on, on an MTB. A what? These bikes, they are cool, but they're way expensive. Hmm, let me see then. Hi, welcome to our bike shop. And we got just the bike for you. It's a cool bike you want. Oh my god! Trying to rip me off with a million Poké Dollars? Goddamn! <clears throat> Come back again sometime! That is some bullcrap. A million bo a million dollars for a bike? My god, trainer tips. Pressing B button during evolution cancels the whole process. Which I did. Good time to tell you because this is probably when your Pokémon will start evolving. Or when they are evolved. Slowbro ignored orders. Jeez. Okay, Slowbro, use Sonic Boom! Come on, Slowbro, pay attention! 
Ah, Sonic Boom! The move that always does 20 damage no matter what. Heh! <laughs> there are multiple moves like that. Oh, and there's the gym! I don't know if we're gonna go there immediately. A mysterious blue aura surrounds it. Hmm. The leader is Misty, the tomboyish mermaid! Hmm. Interesting. You're a trainer too? Collecting fighting! It's a tough life. Collecting, fighting, <laughs> collecting, fighting! Yeah, that sounds like a way to go. <clears throat> and we have a good point to end the episode. I'm talking to more people. Bill has lots of Pokemon. He collects rare ones, too. I'm sure he does. Have you heard about Bill? Everybody calls him a Pokemon maniac. I think people are just jealous of Bill, though. Who wouldn't want to boast about their Pokemon? Me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Now hurry up and heal them up! I need to get Pikachu some love, because I'm going to need Pikachu for the gym. But I have places to go first. Is there anybody else in here that's got anything interesting to say? That Bill! I heard that he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. What an asshole. <laughs> well, whatever. Good time to end the episode here. So, thank you all for watching, again, as we finally got on Mount Moon. Thank God. Come back next time, we'll explore the ruling of the city a little more, and, uh... I don't want to go to the gym yet, because that's probably a little hard. Although, I could just blaze through with Ivysaur or Pikachu. I'm going to try to do something a little more, uh... Fun! So we're going to battle more trainers on another route that's just up ahead of us. Besides, I want to hear who exactly this Bill guy is. He doesn't sound as generic as his name would suggest. <laughs>